joy of staying in places for two nights, three nights, so much packing and unpacking and packing and unpacking, you can never really settle in. So it takes quite a long time to get everything organized when your whole life is in one bag. All right, we just got to the Dumaguete Pier, awaiting our boat to Sikihor. We just showed up and the boat is about 40 minutes. It costs 250 pesos for a tourist class seat. And we checked our bags because we got a couple hours to kill. Now we're just heading into Dumaguete Main Strip to kind of hang out and wait for our boat. Oh my God, it's hot. We didn't really know what was going on in the airport or in the little boat in the little ferry lounge or whatever, what's this fucking called? Port. We didn't really know what was going on in the port. We bought our tickets and then this one guy kind of ushered us through security and then told us to check our bags and that they would be brought right to Secure, but it seemed like everyone else had their bags, so I don't know. Regardless, we paid a guy to take our bags. Hopefully we can trust him and we'll see those again. But if not, we got the important stuff. Just the two of us and my drone, which might be broken. We'll find out. Well, there's the Dumaguete sign, babes. We have the go pole. Well, we just found a hidden gem right in the port, the port area of Dumaguete. It's a place called Coco Amigos, and it looks just like Las Margaritas back in Vancouver. Uh, which is one of our favorite Mexican, if not the most favorite Mexican restaurant we both have. Check this place out. Too early for margaritas? Leah's making me do dangerous things. Uh. Ah, we did it! Go get in front of that. It is very hot out and we just had some sugar cookie nachos. They actually tasted like sugar cookies. They're pretty gross, except I ate them all and Leah didn't eat any of them. <laughs> Whenever we order food, I taste it. If I don't like it, then Justin's stuck eating all of it. But if I like it, then he never gets any. Whoops. We see that sign after we give our bags to someone. <laughs> he seemed trusting. He had a porter shirt on. Fingers crossed. We'll get the bags. All right, so it's the Ocean Jet check -in. Nothing shady about this, folks. This is a legit operation. To clarify, Ocean Jet is the company of the boat we're actually taking to Seeky Corp. There's a few different boats that kind of run out of this terminal. Ocean Jet's the one that's running to Seeky Corp for us. And so that's what we're checking into right now. They got our bags and they'll be taken straight to Sigihor. And we are all good. They have Dunkin' Donuts everywhere in the Philippines. All day, every day. Good news is I see my bag on the pile of bags. So it's making it on the journey. Got to 
our boat. We got air conditioning on. We got a movie on. It's actually pretty sweet. We just got to Garden Bungalows in Sikihor. Uh, Sikihor is a really cool island. They don't have much transportation, so when you get there, there's tons of people telling you to rent a van or rent a motorbike. Luckily, we got a tricycle up to our place. Um, pretty bumpy road all the way up here, but check out our place. Very peaceful, very calm. And then we have Leah. What you doing there? <laughs> and the Wi-Fi here is actually quite strong, so we are getting caught up on quite a bit of work. And Everything's kind of spread out on Seeky Horse, so we're gonna have to find a way, or we're renting a motorbike tomorrow, but we're gonna have to find a way to get to some dinner tonight. And tomorrow's gonna be a cool day because we're going to explore Saladong Beach and a waterfall that the name I cannot remember. Um, both seem like really cool. This island is known for its witchcraft, actually. It's a very majestic magic island, or so I've been told. All right, seeing if the drone works after it crashed into the mountain the other day. drone flight since crashing into the side of a mountain and we're good to go none of the blades are even marked up really there's a small little nick in the side of the body but everything is intact the gimbal the blades 
the body for the most part other than some tree branch stains um, and it looks good to go so there she is the survivor got some character marks but there's the little nick I was talking about right where my thumb is but she's all good the most important part obviously is the gimbal which seems to be fine I mean obviously I need to be able to fly it so being able to function properly is key and it is very hot out and we had some torrential downpour this morning which was nice and we're just charging up everything getting ready to go Just got bussed in to the center of Sikihor. And by bussed in, I mean our homestay parents <laughs> drove us down here. Jennifer, I think. Jennifer, they're so cute. Um, he's a Swiss guy, Renee, and a Filipino girl. And they were just telling us that the place we stayed at, they bought the land for 200,000 pesos, which works out to be about 10,000 Canadian dollars, give or take. So they put up a beautiful four bedroom homestay, a lot of land. I think they said it was 1,500 acres, which goes- She said 25. 2,500 acres regardless. A lot of space, a lot of animals. Very cool. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Just finished dinner at a little spot in Sihikivor. It's pretty pretty random. It's uh, the place is kind of out of place for the rest of the town. It's very modern. Um, kind of a brand new restaurant, but it was pretty good. Got a ham and pineapple pizza, and Leah got spaghetti and meatballs. Traditional Filipino cuisine at its finest. Mm -hmm. 